Hello, plant friends. Welcome back for another episode. I'm going to show you the shelf I have in the background. You've seen the shelf before. This is in my introduction, and I sort of just like zoom, zoom, zoom through it. It'll be fun to show you guys a closer look of, of the plant inhabitants of this shelf setup and maybe you'll get some ideas about how to do your own shelf setup. I live in a very, very, very small space and I have a lot of plants. So maximizing space, maximizing the light real estate, super, super important. And also, yeah, just having space for more plants means more plants. Stay tuned. This area has the least amount of light because it's the most on the edge. In the back here, I have my Epipernoides. I also have a Pinnipartium, something like that. I'll, I'll put it below. I have my Pilea here, not rare at all. It grows so well, the leaf shape is so unique, so fun. It just brings so much joy. I mean, how can you look at this plant and not smile? It's, it's, it's wonderful. And then I also have uh, one of my variegated Monstera albos here. I actually have two albo variegatas on this uh, shelf setup. One is more of a patchy uh, variegation pattern, whereas the other one is a more diffuse variegation pattern. As I mentioned on some of my other Alba videos, the patchy ones, you know, the areas where there's very solid and large chunks of white, they the, those area, areas of the leaf tend to burn a little bit more. And then next to this Alba, I have another Alba that is more the, the, the variegation is much more diffuse. So here I'm in front of sort of the main uh, shelving area. This shelf I actually got from Ikea. It's just a plain white shelf. Um, wasn't very expensive at all. I got the lacquered, right? Is it the, the shiny paint white one? Yeah. Uh, and for here, as you can see, I, I focus on leaves that sort of, you know, protrude a little bit and so that they can, they can absorb the light. A lot of these are my anthuriums. Uh, let me see, this big one in the top right is I think an anthurium compact MC or so, something like that. I also have a, a crystal linum or a, hybrid down there. I have my Anthurium, the King Anthurium or the Anthurium Vieche. Or Vieche. I have a small Monstera Decursiva Anthurium Crystallinum. I think they're the Crystallinum. I have two of them. They've never actually done all that well for me. I have them in moss now, and I'm hoping that they do better, but they've, they've just never shown the growth that I've expected given how long I've had them. And also compared to the other anthuriums, they've, they've caused me uh, quite a bit more trouble. Then I have an ace of spades. That's it for this area. <sighs> so this top shelf area, I have my uh, Monstera variegated albo, as well as my uh, Thai constellation. I also have a few other plants scattered in, uh, Philodendron Plasta Xantium. I don't know why it's not thriving as well as I thought, but the it's growing a new leaf, but I, I think it's probably just the nature of the beast. 
as well as my current growing conditions. When you're having a plant set up to maximize uh, light space or the light that's coming in, it's very important to think vertically. Um, and as you're thinking vertically, just know that you, you really try to find plants that fit in nooks and crannies. Under these leaves of the variegated albo and the Thai constellation, underneath there's still some shelf space. I have a very leggy uh, variegated Stan Liana, and then I also have my staghorn fern, which I sort of just like left here because the structure was, you know, it was the leaf was curving down. Both seem to do really, really well. So next to my shelf on the other end, I actually have my mint monstera and my regular <laughs> monstera deliciosa. My regular monstera deliciosa probably, you know, doesn't fit in the shelf setup in terms of like rarity, but it was actually one of my first plants, the plant that really started it all for me. And I know that uh, it's probably one of the plants that started it all for quite a few people, just because the nature of the leaves, how fast it grows, how easy it is to care for. It, it really has a, a, a very solid place in my heart, even though my collection has really expanded since I've gotten it and my taste in plants have also really changed a lot. It's, it's just a wonderful plant. Next to it I have my really, really crispy and sort of dried up and wrinkly mint monstera. It's still currently rooting. Yeah, I wish, I wish it looked a little bit healthier. I'm sure that the roots underneath the soil are really developing so I just need the plant to really, really just hang in there while the roots develop and then and then we'll just be you know things will be being really really good so that's one of my main plant shelf areas i really hope you guys enjoyed it so now when you're watching the introduction and you know things are zooming by you can at least identify or know the plants that are in this particular shelf area so when you're developing or designing a shelf area of your own the key things that i would advise you to think about are the lighting you know what is the type the type of light that's going to that area and also what plants are most suitable for that light two you, you definitely want to think about how to maximize the number of plants in a certain area and usually this really depends on you know picking the right plants for the light as well as the the light the right leaf structure right the plants that kind of like go forward or go down or go up if the plant leaves are going in different directions you can sort of group that up together so that all the leaves are you know capturing light in a certain area or in a certain space i think the setup was pretty inexpensive like i said i I got the main white shelf in the center at Ikea. There are a couple of plant stands and plant pots, and then there's a stool that I use to have some plants on. The moss poles, the overly large ones I made myself, they don't have to be that large. Definitely do not make them as large as I did. <laughs> I wish I could just get a saw and like chop off the top. Definitely don't make them that big. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe, please like. I hope this, uh, you know, casual fun video was casual and fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Cheers.